Hi guys, welcome to Decadency. My name is Tlaho and I am going to be sharing my cooking experiences with you guys. So you're probably wondering what Decadency is. Decadency is all about luxurious indulgence and luxury doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, those things because I know someone is literally looking at this right now on some, woo, <laughs> it's too expensive. No, luxury doesn't have to be like your caviar and stuff. Just stick within your budget. Just make sure that, you know, when you make the things, you better eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. So, let's get to it. Today we'll be making pancakes with a homemade blueberry syrup and a mixed fruit salsa. So on the table you have all the ingredients you'll need for today's experience. We have 125 grams of blueberries, a cup of sugar, and we also have half a teaspoon of caraway seeds and half a teaspoon of cardamom. We're gonna put them in here, just grind them up a bit. You can find these at any outlet stores. They'll usually come ground already, so you won't need to use this. But if you have this, honey, go ahead and buy the ones that are whole and use what you bought. Then we have some kiwis, some apples, strawberries and grapes for the fruit salsa. We're also gonna add some oranges. For the pancakes, we have a cup and a half of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter cup of sugar, 200 grams of chocolate. We're gonna make two variations of pancakes, ones with chocolate and ones without. Then we also have a cup of milk, gonna pour a teaspoon of vanilla essence, an egg, and yara. We're going to start with the blueberry syrup. We're going to take our cardamom and caraway seeds, just add them all in there. We're gonna ground them up. So these have to be ground, like, fine because you don't want to come across those seeds or else the, it, you will have that taste in jail for the whole day it'll be like you ate an onion but a very sweet onion so they have to be really ground and crushing them also releases the flavors like those aromas it's other seeds they pull through once crushed so just gonna round this up Okay, so we're gonna add our caraway seeds and our cardamom, the ground ones, to the blueberries because it's now time to cook our syrup. Make sure you get all of it because we need all that flavor, honey. We need all that flavor. So you're gonna need a small pot, then put your stove on low heat, mine is on four and a half. Then we're gonna add the blueberries and the seed mix, it's all up in there. Gonna share all that into this pot. Done. Then we're gonna add the sugar into the pot as well. Mm. Then we're also gonna add 90 ml of water. This is to help the sugar to dissolve. There we go. And then we're just gonna mix it up just a little. To make sure the sugar is all up in that water. Then we're gonna leave it so that the sugar can dissolve. Then once the sugar has dissolved, we are going to turn up the heat just a little so that it can boil and reduce. As you can see, that purple tinge is starting to pull through. So I'm just gonna stir it up just to make sure that the sugar is dissolved and it is dissolved. So there's no granules of sugar up in there. Let it boil just for maybe two minutes and then we're gonna add in the cornstarch to thicken it up. This has been boiling for about five minutes now and it's nice and reduced. So I'm going to add my corn starch mixture. So in here, I have a teaspoon of corn starch, maizena, corn flour, you name it, and a tablespoon of water. Mix it up just to dissolve it up. And I'm going to add this into my corn starch just to thicken it up. So just gonna mix this up. If you add too much corn flour to your mixture, it'll end up being so thick it'll be like pop. So make sure that you get your ingredient, you get your measurements right. Just gonna stir this up so that the cornstarch can cook through. I'm gonna monitor it for exactly a minute. If your syrup ends up being too runny, you can add a little bit of cornstarch, just do not add it directly to your syrup. Otherwise you'll end up with some nasty clots. If it ends up being too thick, just loosen it up with some water. Just make sure that it's not too much water because you're not gonna end up adding water, cornstarch water. 
So yeah, so you see the boil is back again and it's nicely getting to where I want it to get. Make sure it doesn't burn at the bottom of the pot. So if you're cooking your syrup and you can feel at the bottom of the pot that it's starting to catch, turn your heat down low. I'm gonna turn off my stove and I'm going to remove it from the heat. So we're gonna let this cool off. While it's cooling off, we're gonna attend to other things. So we're gonna start with the pancake batter. We're going to add our egg and our sugar. And we're just gonna mix it up a little. Great. Then we're going to add our cup of milk. And a teaspoon of caramel essence. There we go. Ooh. Then we're also going to mix that. Get jelly. Smells so good. Guys, everything with cooking smells good. Except my hoodie. But tastes really good. Anyway, back to this. Then we're going to add our flour. And just don't fight with it. Be gentle. You know, just mix it up. If your batter gets too thick, you can add a bit of milk. If it's too runny, you can add a bit of flour. There's always ways to cheat in the kitchen. Just try not to cheat. But I guess I'm about to cheat because I need some milk. So I'm gonna add half a cup of milk. And then just mix this up. Lord God Almighty may not be too soft because I don't wanna add flour. Nah, it'll be fine. Yes. This is the batter that I want. Perfect. Careful not to overmix, eh? Hey? Or else your pancakes will just flop. They'll look weird. So this is just perfect. This is the consistency that I want. So now I'm going to add my chalk chips. I've been there for the chalk chip. I'm gonna mix it up. Make sure the chocolates are covered in that batter, honey. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna take my batters, put them in the fridge for just 10 minutes just to chill them. Then it'll be time to make some pancakes. We're going to add just a few drops of oil. I already preheated my stove to four and a half. That's literally all we need for the pancakes. Then just gonna swivel the pan around just for oil to spread just wait for the heat to do the things. So my batters are right here. I'm going to use an 80 milliliter cup for my batter. If you want bigger pancakes, you can use a bigger cup. Make sure you have a bigger pan as well. Let's do this. If you don't have a non-stick pan, you can buy a non-stick spray and use it for your pan. It also works wonders. There. And we're just going to leave them for about two minutes to two and a half minutes. Then we're going to flip them around, press them down a little, make sure everything's cooked. So yeah, now we wait.
Now that we're done cooking, it's time to eat. Hopefully they taste as good as they look. We're gonna have, mm. actually, best of both. I'm gonna take a chocolate one and the plain one. Let me add my salsa. Oof. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Mm. Something just to, you know, help it go down. Mm. Appetit. Mm. This day smells so good. Experiences are all about making memories. Sharing is caring after all. And I did say you have to eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. So I decided to share this meal with my neighbor. You know, create a, create a good memory. You know, share a lovely experience with her. So Yara, thank you so much for coming through. Cheers. Cheers neighbor, thank you. Thank you so much for enjoying with me. And cheers to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do subscribe, like, share, comment, do the most honey. And don't forget, eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth.